Greetings, comrade. Hope this finds you well. Quick shout out to INN, the AND News Network. Second video today while holding baby sleeping. Well, baby is sleeping. I'm holding them, I should say. So Biden, on a, I think it was a conference call with different governors, maybe all the governors in the U.S. was asked uh, or told them, you know, there's no federal solution to COVID. States got to figure out themselves, which is the exact same thing that Trump said. So again, the Biden administration is just Trump 2.0, but with liberal messaging and marketing. The, uh, you know, over racism and white supremacy is toned down a little bit. But, you know, the Biden administration is still very much promoting capitalism, white supremacy, uh, imperialism, both here and abroad. Um, but we had to vote blue no matter who, right? It was a moral obligation. We had to get Biden in um, so he could do the exact same things that Trump did, but he has a D next to his name. And the, um, you know, liberals, the Democratic apologists have went, you know, back to brunch, back to sleep while, um, you know, as many people have died from COVID-19 now, or actually it's surpassed that. That happened under the um, Trump administration. We still have kids in cages, mass deportations, the Biden administration, um, you know, granting these huge, massive oil and gas drilling contracts in the Gulf of Mexico. U.S. imperialism uh, is still, you know, ramping up against all of these countries. The new Cold War in China has been escalated under the Biden administration, but vote blue no matter who. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then... Yeah, so Biden told that to the governors, and then I think he got on, you know, the, uh, you know, the presidential helicopter or whatnot and flew to his beach house in, in Delaware. So it's like, fuck off, everybody. Got to go to the beach house. Figure this shit on your own. There's no federal response. There's no help coming. Um, I mean, Jesus Christ, what what else do people need to see that there's really no fundamental difference between the Republican and, and Democratic parties. They both serve capitalism. They both serve white supremacy. They both serve U.S. imperialism. Um, seriously, is can you point to any substantive differences almost a year now into the Biden administration uh, from, from Trump's, right? Any real substantive change? Any positive change that's happened for the working class, for the most vulnerable and marginalized elements of the working class in the United States or people in the global south who are under the boot of the U.S. empire as Biden just signed that, I think it was $770 billion military uh, budget for death, bombs, and destruction. Maybe that's one of the reasons no help is on the way from the federal government. There's no federal response because we spend so much money on death and destruction that we don't have anything left to i don't know give people health care or paid sick leave or stimulus checks or any of these other things um i mean again tr he lit trump literally said that exact same thing that states need to figure out themselves there's going to be no help or guidance coming from the federal government um, but, you know, when Biden was campaigning, he was calling out that same rhetoric and plan of action by Trump. But when he got in office, literally doing the exact same fucking thing. But, you know, liberals and the Democratic sycophants in the corporate media, um, you know, obviously aren't, you know, have the, uh, you know, ethics or morals to actually call that out. Um, so not super surprising but deeply deeply disturbing right uh we're basically on our own at this point as biden said no help is coming and we just really need to help each other out um you know help help our families help our friends help our communities in whatever way we can because uh, there's no help coming as as biden said um you know except you know if you're you know part of the billionaire class or, you know, one of the corporate donors to the Republican or Democratic parties. If you're not in one of those groups, uh, we're basically fucked. So we need to do everything that we can to help each other. 
um, because uh, there's no hope coming, as, as Biden said, as the Omicron virus surges on, as more people continue to, uh, you know, die. And again, just another example of how capitalism is, is the virus and how a capitalist economic system is completely incapable of taking care of the needs of the people because it's not designed for that. It's designed to increase money, increase profits at the expense of people as well as the environment. Um, and this is just another example of that. A capitalist system is completely and utterly divorced from the needs of people. And this is just another sickening example of that. Like the video, feel like the damn video. Subscribe for more content. All part of the people. Quick shout out to the two Uber comrades supporting my channel, my partner, and Indie Left News. Peace. Much love.